Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to prove the triangle inequality for complex numbers. So we're going to show that the modulus of z plus w is less than or equal to the modulus of z plus the modulus of w for all complex numbers z and w. To do this we're going to show that if you take the modulus of z plus w and you square it, it's less than or equal to parentheses modulus of z plus modulus of w squared. So we're going to show that this is true and then it'll follow simply by taking the square root of both sides. So proof. So we'll start by letting z and w be complex numbers. So let z and w be two numbers that are complex. So elements of the set of complex numbers. So then we're going to use various properties in this problem. So we have the modulus of z plus w, and that's being squared. Well, it turns out when you have the modulus of a complex number, in this case z plus w, and it's squared, it's equal to the complex number times the conjugate of the complex number. Okay, that's a property which I'll write over here. So uh, I'll do it here, actually. I'll say since... For any complex number, um, say um, u, if you take the complex, if you take the modulus of it and you square it, you get u times the conjugate of u. That's true for all complex numbers. The next thing we're going to do is use the fact that whenever you have a sum like this and you're taking the conjugate, you can just take the conjugate of each term. So this would be z plus w times the conjugate of z plus the conjugate of w. And that's from this property here. Um, I guess I'll say it over here. This is since whenever you have you know, z plus w and you take the conjugate, it's just going to be the conjugates of the sums. The next step is just going to be regular multiplication. So let's go ahead and multiply. So we're going to distribute. So we have z times z conjugate. So z times z conjugate and then z times w conjugate, so z times w conjugate, and then w times z conjugate, and then w times w conjugate, just like that. All right, now we can use a property that we already used, right? We can use this one again. Uh, twice. So this will be the modulus of z squared. I'm going to uh, rewrite this. I'm going to just keep this one the same. z w conjugate. And then this one, I'm just going to put the z in the front. Okay, this is just by commutivity. So z conjugate w, like that. And then on this last one, we'll use that rule again that a complex number times its conjugate is the modulus squared. So this is since, we did, we did two things here. So since, you know, whenever you have the modulus of a complex number squared, it's the complex number times the conjugate. And we also use commutivity. I won't write it, but uh, multiplication of complex numbers uh, is, is commutative. Now we somehow want to use uh, another identity. So uh, there's something that tells us that um, the real part, or two times the real part, of a uh, complex number z is equal to the complex number plus the conjugate of the complex number. Okay, so here uh, we need to somehow uh, write this inner term, these inner terms here, as um, a complex number and its conjugate. So I'm thinking let's do it in steps. Let's start by just putting two bars above the z like this. So bar, bar, it's the same thing, right? Because if you take the conjugate of the conjugate, you get the original thing. So let me just write the rest of it here and then plus the modulus squared. And this is since the conjugate of the conjugate is the original. So if you have a complex number u, you take the conjugate of the conjugate, you just get the regular thing. And now we're gonna use another property. So now what we can do is we can just do this. We can write this as z conjugate w and then 
conjugate. And the conjugate basically distributes over the multiplications. We get conjugate, conjugate, and then conjugate. So, and then plus z conjugate w plus the modulus of w squared. And this is since if you have, you know, the conjugate of a product, it's the product of the conjugates. Okay, you can do that. So, and, uh, you know, this, this formula over here on the left, um, you know, you could write it like, like this because, you know, uh, the addition is, um, is commutative. That's basically what we have here now. We have, this is our, 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 our z here, you see it? That's the same thing as, uh, as this here. So now this is going to be the modulus squared plus two times the uh, real part, two times the real part of the conjugate of z times w plus the modulus uh, squared, okay, times plus the modulus squared. All right, and that's because of this one here, this one over here. So I'll just write since, since two times the real part of z, trying to show a lot of work here, uh, conjugate of z plus z, trying to be really, really thorough. Um, so this is equal to, or this is less than or equal to, the modulus of z squared. So the, um, the real part of a complex number z, if you think about it, is less than or equal to the modulus of z. I mean, if you think about it, if you have z equals x plus i, y, right? So the real part uh, of z is x. And you can say that that's, you know, uh, less than or equal to uh, the square root of x squared, which is less than or equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, which is the modulus of z. So the real part uh, of a complex number, actually you could say it's equal here. Um, if it's positive, I guess, I'll just say less than or equal to. Um, so this is less than or equal to the modulus of z. So this is plus 2 and then modulus of z conjugate w plus modulus squared. And this is since the real part of a complex number z is less than or equal to the modulus of z. It's a really, really short proof. There should be a less than or equal to there. Sorry. Um, so now we can do this. This is the modulus of z squared plus 2, and then you can break this up. And you can do this because um, if you have the modulus of a product, that's the product of the moduluses. Okay. And whenever you take um, the, uh, the modulus of the conjugate, that's the same thing as the modulus of the regular complex number without the conjugate. Okay, that's another property. A lot of properties in this problem. Uh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so this is since, I even write since, I'm starting to get lazy. So since this is true. Okay, I'll just do that since I didn't write since. And this is equal to z plus w, all, all in conjugates, squared. So what did we even do? Wow, we started with this, and it's less than or equal to this. Ridiculous. So it takes forever when you, uh, you know, when you justify every little step. Uh, it takes it takes a bit of work. This is less than or equal to modulus of z plus modulus of w squared. So taking the square root of both sides, you get uh, z plus w uh, less than or equal to modulus of z plus modulus of w. And that uh, completes the proof for the triangle inequality. It took a little bit longer than uh, expected. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a valid proof. Uh, hopefully this uh, helps someone out there in the world who's trying to uh, learn some math. Good luck.